Your life is your feeling. Your feeling is your life. How your life is today is a product of how you felt yesterday and the days before. We create in the now and when we get to the future, we read them. So, in the moment, avoid negativities because it will produce that fruit, that seed that you will hate to be. If you are speaking evil of people, you will have more evil to speak of people because when you finish speaking that evil, you will be filled with seeds of evil people to plant. If you are speaking well of people, if you only remember stories of how people have been kind and nice to you and that is all you say, you will find yourself there having such kind of people populating in your life. It is what you give attention to that counts. Hello, powerful one. Welcome to this edition of Inner Growth to Says Your Enemy. It is a good time to be alive because this is the age of knowledge. A lot of secrets that have been hidden from us over the ages are coming out. Easy and simple. Thank God for the liberalization of media. Yes, some of us would have had to look for so much money to pay for airtime to have our programs aired. But today, I don't need to spend that kind of money. But I just have to speak in front of my cameras, post them on the channel, and then hope that people like you will come across it and make something useful out of it as we do. Today, we are talking about the need for you to avoid bad feelings. Avoid bad feelings like you would avoid a plague, a deadly plague. Why? Imagine you had a basket of mangoes right now as the food you are going to eat for a while. When you finish eating that basket of mangoes, what would you have left? You will have a basket of mango seeds. And uh, what we do with the mango seeds? Of course, you plant them. And what do you get after that? Another set of abundant mango trees and mango fruits in the future. Now, our feelings are exactly like that. How? Wait for me. I'll be back after this short break. I am Oseizwa, Anthony Enemy Hay. You know me, I am in the game of helping you grow from inside out. That is the dream. You're welcome back. Yes, things are opportunity for us to expand the resources of our being that we have accumulated over the past. So when we are feeling, we are creating for us seeds that will become our future fruits. And every seed that you plant, we produce according to its kind. What that means is that if you are feeling bad right now, you are angry, sour, hateful, jealous, distrusting, whatever, just name the negative traits that you might be having right now. All you are doing is exactly what the person who has a basket of mango fruits is doing. You are eating the fruits of your past negativities. And when you finish eating them, what you have left are more seeds of negativities that you will plant. And which means your future we also reflect that exact same negativity. That is why we are telling you, avoid negative feelings. If you come across a negative feeling in your system, it is a plague. Kill it. Swallow all the antidotes. If you don't have antidote, go get antibiotics, swallow them. Your antibiotics are one. Stop thinking at that moment. Because it is the thinking that you are thinking, your thought is what is generating that thing. How do you really stop thinking? One, go into singing. Just pick a good song. Pick a positive song that will give you a positive vibe and a charge. Sing it. Not the one that will charge you to hate people. 
So people charge themselves up by singing songs of enemies and they begin to say and throw jabs at the enemies. It's still negative. You're feeling high on a negative drug and you will get the same effect. You create more enemies for yourself. You see, people do not understand that whatever you make your focus of attention becomes your life. It becomes your reality. You say, how can I take my attention away from what is eating me? People have done bad things to me and I remember it and I talk about it and I cry about it. You tell me I should not. Don't give me this thing so it is very difficult to do. It's almost it it is impossible. Yeah, you are right. It is impossible to see good where your beliefs have told you to see negative. In as much as people have done bad things to you, if you check the number of times they did evil to you, and compared to the number of times people have been nice to you, you cannot compare because the time people have been nice to you is massive. You say, how? You are wearing clothes and these clothes look good on you. Somebody sweated to design that and sold it for you. That person was being nice to you. You don't even know the person. You walked into a shop and picked the cloth and said you liked it. How did you get there? Somebody went to the market and sweated to select those clothes to bring to the shop because of you. Somebody carried heavy loads on their head in the market, carrying this thing, the clothes were inside the bale because of you. Somebody led to drive to carry heavy weight haulage and they brought that bale to the market because of you. Everything you eat, the food you eat, the perfumes you wear, the creams you wear, the wig you wear if you are a woman, the toupee you put on if you are a man with a body trying to hide your baldness. Whatever it is, the belts, the shoes, everything around you, they are all product of life being good to you. But you don't think about those things. Okay? You don't talk about those things. You were walking on the street, somebody looked at you and said, you look good. You smell good. You don't talk about that. What you talk about is how people have been nasty to you. You see, if you will feed your life stories with the goodness of life to you, you will get more goodness of life. My people say, or oh, women say, or we have a lot really. One who is thankful, ask for more. Feed your life with gratitude. So change your belief. All right? Change your belief about life and people. Begin to tune your mind to the goodness around you. So the belief is that I am surrounded by goodness. Life has been good to me. I am a product of love. My father and mother loved themselves. They were, you know, attracted to each other and they produced me. Therefore, I am a product of love. I am a product of the law of attraction. Therefore, I attract the best in life. Even if your parents didn't love themselves, but something brought them together to produce you, that is the power of attraction. You have it. All right? The universe loved you and even forced two people who don't love each other, who wouldn't have seen eyeball to eyeball to come together and produce you. Isn't that so powerful? You are special. <laughs> Feel special and express your specialness by the choice of stories you tell, by the choice of the things you remember. Everything around you is a product of love. People work hard that you might have those things. People spend sleepless nights that you might have those things. You are listening to this video now. You know what it took me? You know what I went through? Although it was a labor of love, I loved every aspect of all that I did to make this video possible because of you. Which means somehow the universe and the almighty made me think of you while doing this video. Even when I've never met you before probably, or I have met you, but I don't know that this aspect of life concerns you. But here you are, listening to it and finding value in it. That is love. Think about these things. Make these things the centerpiece of your thoughts. Make it the centerpiece of your being. Stop thinking evil. See no evil. Hear no evil. Smell no evil. Taste no evil and say no evil. Stick with that which is positive. Stick with that which promotes you. Take stories out of life in which you are the champion, in which you are loved, in which you are catered for. That will bring the same result to you. So don't feel bad. 
avoid it. Doesn't matter what people do to you. When you're feeling bad, you can even douse the feeling by saying positive things. You might be crying when you are doing it, it might be very painful. This person hasn't hurt me. This person is actually bleeding from the injuries others have done to him. He deserves mercy. He deserves to be forgiven. I ask for the strength to forgive this person. I ask for the strength to heal from this injury that I feel from this injury. Remember what I have always said, quoting Elron Hubbard, hurt people, hurt people. People that have been damaged are the ones that offend, that injure people. So don't be one of them. Show them mercy and let go. You are a blessing if you agree, if you know what it is that life has undergone to make you what you are today, to place you where you are today. Don't lose it by thinking evil. If you are in a bad place right now, let go of thinking of that place as bad. Embrace that place and start thinking positively. It is not just ordinary talk. When I was in my secondary school days in class 4, I came across the book, Power of Positive Thinking. I never read it. I wish I had read that book that time. I wouldn't have experienced the things I experienced. I would have been a much, much, much better person. But it doesn't matter when you start. And people say, when I had your day, oh, well. It is the time you woke up from sleep that is your morning. So enjoy your morning. Start today. You can learn it. You are not a dry fish that cannot be bent. You are not an old dog that cannot learn a new trick. The reason is this. Your mind is never old. Your body may be old, but your mind never ages. It is an all-time reference entity. So learn, grow, and be good. Remember, the world is three things for you. It is a garden where you grow. You grow by taking and giving. It is a school where you learn and it is a marketplace where you exchange value. Make value of yourself and give value to others and you will be better off at the end of the day. Surely, surely, life is good for you and when you open up to that goodness and embrace it, life will be good to you. God bless you.